What's up, my good sis? It's your girl, Kiamani, and I'm back at it again with another video. And this wig is from Super B Wigs. As you know, I've worked with them quite a few times, and we got us a cute little unit today. So we got a Swiss lace pre-plucked curly lace unit. She is 22 inches, 150% density, and I do have a cap size 22.5. And this is actually Swiss lace, and we got undetectable knots on this wig. Not to mention that the knots are already bleached. So this Swiss lace is going to be a great component when you're trying to do, you know, the melting portion of your wig. So undetectable, their undete undetectable lace to be exact, really does melt in and blend in with any skin type. I mean, not skin type, any skin tone. And that is very good because tinting the lace, if it's not the same color as your skin, is uh, is is it's an aggravating process. I'm not gonna lie. Get the curls super popping. I just use a little bit of water and I just brushed through the curls just to make them all intertwine. And for this um, style, I did want to do a half up, half down because the hairline was so lit. So since we had the undetectable lace, um, I mean the undetectable knots and the Swiss lace, I did want to do a, uh, you know, half up, half down just to show that off. Since this is a kinkier texture, I do want to use some conditioner just to lock the curls all together. I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about this Swiss Lace Undetectable Wig. So the real Swiss Lace is very invisible when it is applied to the skin. The lace is very thin and stretchy, also soft, and this makes it durable and actually comfortable to wear. This is a great thing that the color blends with any skin type and skin tone, like I said before, because you do not want to go through that process of tinting, to, tinting the lace, have it come out too dark, and then there's nothing you can do about it. So it's already done for you. And as you can see, the hairline looks amazing. Knots are bleached. Hairline is plucked. So this is what we're working with. So now I am going to cut my the extra lace off, and I'm going to do a little zigzaggy motion. I always do that because... <laughs> I couldn't figure out what I wanted. Um, because it just blends in with the scalp. Um, not the scalp, the skin better. And then I do apply this with my regular got to be gel. Now you'll see in a few seconds that this lace just melts right into my skin, girl. It's just so cute and thin and natural. And that's what we'd want in a good lace front wig. I love Super B because their wigs are very good quality for an affordable price. And also one thing I would like to mention about this texture is I did fluff the curls out a little bit more because I like a bigger look. But since this is a kinkier texture, you're not you're not going to want to do too much because you are going to get a super big fro. That's why I like to put a lot of conditioner in this kind of this texture in itself, not even just for super B, but just like this texture in general, because, you know, I just want to keep her tamed. But this is the finished look. 
let me know what you think and if you did want to pick this wig up of course it's going to be in the description box down below if you do pick it up please let them know that kiamani sent you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next one Mwah.